Francis Elka. Here I am. Ciao. Hola. Hello. Sharing generously. The happenstance of my mind. Yes, I am intelligent. What is avarice? What is the greed? That is what we observe today. The greed is monetary? Yes. I want more stuff. Hop, 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 hop. Yeah, I called it yesterday, the day before yesterday. The avaricia. I want more stuff than you have. That is also greed. I don't share what I have. That is greed. And there is more. Emotionally greedy are all the people around me who abuse me. They all abuse me when they do not empathize in who I am. They think they can use me. They're being greedy with their time, with their attention, with their addressing. But they're not only that, they're also thieves, murderers. Resistant to what? To what God gives them, love. All I ever say is watch, observe. And all they ever do not do is to watch or to observe. How can we make good decisions for a society which is forming and which you will be part of by looking inside? Of course, let princes tell you what's right and what's not. Okay, but do you feel it? Can you emphasize? Because if princess tells what's right and they do it anyway, then what they're hiding again? They're stealing from me. Right in front of my eyes, walking into my properties. And then they're showing off to sell their children. As they stole that money too. I never authorized money for children. Now that was Green, where did he end it? Green just took it. Because in a sanctuary, it has to be achieved. You have to look inside. You have to have serenity. You must be calm and peaceful and quiet to find it, to evaluate. You can't do it with children. How can we know what's right? Let the princess tell you what's right. Okay. Does it resonate? I feel like addressing the subject of the school. So many reels about educational systems. Well, you want princess to find the answer. It depends on where we live and how we live. I can give a few examples. What I just saw. Oh, it's a farmer and he says, my children don't go to school. Or maybe it's a farming community. They learn with the experience of what we're doing. Now you see a little child on a tractor and other children working the earth. Yeah, that's great. Absolutely. Is it enough? I don't think so. Because school offers children many things. Social gathering for starters. To be with other children. And to have someone else tell them. That creates independence. And also, in a right school system, it also offers for the child to develop who she really is away from the parents. I am not saying that I want many hours. I think they are way too young when they are very far, far, far away from their parents. I don't think that is right. I sort of kind of suffered it. They're so young and so many hours they have to go to school. That is not right. Second, what do they have to do? Let's look at the physical circumstances. How do I know all this? I don't know, I just feel into it right now as I speak. The physical circumstances, yeah, and I don't change my mind, but I might add other things. Yeah, I'm no new perspectives, of course, happening right now. So the physical circumstances is, yeah, sitting on benches all day long. I don't think that's right. I sort of kind of like that. What was the movie again? Now I forgot the name. But they were sitting like in the grass. The children were like smaller. I'm not saying all the time. I'm saying varied. That is one thing. Now, new is not that I tell you we should know how stuff works and how stuff grows. But that needs hands on practice. Books alone is not satisfactory. We need to go and walk it. We need to walk the earth. We need to work the earth. 
We need to see physically how it works. We need to make it happen, grow plans on and on, machinery, it depends on the age, of course. We need to go observe and watch. That's what I think we should be doing. All of us. Children should be enhanced to get knowledge. As much knowledge as needed, no, all necessary knowledge, plus other things, knowledge which they may choose. Children should be encouraged to have opinions and to discuss and maybe then look inside and find what is best. Or maybe not finding it, maybe just leaving it open. Here's another subject. History is obsolete. My people, you guys. History is completely useless. Nobody needs to memorize facts and data and most of the history was invented anyhow. Well, what does matter? If you wish to go detailed and if you have interest in how we were formed and what it is it. Okay, let's look at the French Revolution. Don't you worry, I'm not going to give you a history lesson. I'm just giving you an example. So, I had a history teacher. I mean, I had many, but this one. Why are they all conservatives? They all vote for the... What is it again in this country? See what I mean? Every country is the same. The conservatives and the liberals. Sometimes the liberals are called social democrats or democrats. And the conservatives, they want everything the way it is and they want nothing to change. And they think some people are privileged and the rest have to go starve. Usually they wear very conservative clothing, they have conservative haircuts, yeah, suits and makeup, and they have conservative ways of speaking. And yeah, contrasting maybe the eco people who run around in jeans and shirts and simple. But the conservatives cannot allow that because that means to let loose. And let loose, it's scary and frightening. Because when they let loose, they have nothing left. Because conservatives are assholes. Because the earth is evolving. Conservative means we should what? Live in caves? Or not have electricity? Let alone internet? See, conservative want everything the way it is. And nothing shall move or change. So that's their assholes, period. The earth is evolving, and you need to look into oneself and how do you feel and what do you think is right, on and on. So my history teacher was conservative. Oh, she voted conservative. Well, like, <laughs> just have a look at her, how she looks. You can clearly see it. But let alone that, what she would teach is the French Revolution. And I remember it went on for a year or two years, I don't know, on and on. And Robespierre, yeah, some of those characters said, and then what da 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 responded. Are there brain damage? Is that the book I'm reading? Is that history? Was it a year? Was it two years? Was it? I don't know. All this time, she taught French Revolution. And because she was conservative, she couldn't say what was really going on. And avoided the subject at hand. That the most important part of the French Revolution is... Any revolution is the most important part. That some dictator, call it monarch, king, or dictator, is taken off the throne. That one, one percent or less than one percent, who abuses the 99 percent and have some living under the worst condition in slavery. That is what the revolution does. It takes those off and does, yeah, Robin Hood, right? I lived in Robin Hood Drive, correct. Number 23, my number. And takes the money and distributes it among all. That was the French Revolution. Yeah, and there are other things. Politically, the constitutions were written. That means people have rights. Get it? Yeah, it coinciding also that in America happened that thing with the constitution, right? Yeah, right before what, Napoleon? And then, I mean, it's all a lie. There was no Napoleon. I don't know why <laughs> right now. Because how can you be happy and distribute your riches and go invade another country now? It's completely contradictory what, what it is said. Yeah, you go think about it. What is the point of inviting Russia when you have France? Yeah, you know how they died? Russia retracted. That's the history. Napoleon invaded. Yeah, the French people invaded Russia. Why? France is not that ugly, by the way. 
Okay, now they go to Russia, all the way up north and then east. And Russia retracted, so French invaded and said, oh cool, we are conquering the land of Russia. <laughs> right? Yeah, but they are stupid, the French, because there's no snow in France and they go to the mountains, which is all the way in the Pyrenees, so who goes there, right? at the time so what happened the Russians went to protect themselves and then it came what the snow the snow fell and the French were not equipped for heavy Russian 24 hours a day for month snowfall so they all died yeah the idiots or what but it's a lie. It didn't happen. But then it's so don't study it. It doesn't matter. You want to admire a leader. Yeah, go ahead, admire a leader. And what does it tell about you? Heroically letting his army starve and die? How can anybody admire Napoleon Bonaparte? Bonaparte, that sounds great. Good riddance, right? <laughs> Again, so first there is a monarch, a king, or a dictator, maybe if you want to place it in modern times, who doesn't allow you to live happily, who keeps you starving. Yeah, go ahead, work the land, but give me all the crops. So you starve, although you work. Don't have a house, and if I don't like what you do, I'm gonna burn your little town down. Okay, so now here is the revolution, and people kick those out. And people come together, and they talk, we must have rights, yeah, we must have a law, yeah, we must have... You know what I mean, <sighs> eventually lost, it's coming of those things too. We have to distribute the riches and wealth among all of us. Yay! Yeah, that's great, now go ahead, construct. Build. You don't want to go and invade another country. Do you get my idea here? So what resonates, what does not resonate? So my history teacher, she avoided the concept of we have to actually all be okay here. We all have to live happily in, in decent condition. She avoided the subject to actually teach me on us that in middle school. Is she inane? Is that insanity? You tell me. So what does work? Well, besides that the farmland needs to be get understood and the processes of crops and, and, and reproducing our food needs to be understood and yeah, maybe climate and earth condition need to be understood. I think everyone should know it, honestly. And then there's other things. Machinery, electricity, well, how does it work? It needs to be understood. Be independent. Yeah, can you change a light bulb? Can you change an outlet? I am not joking. I didn't know for most of the years. And yeah, and my husband, he didn't know either. He didn't do a thing. Why? You need to know. You need to know. Not that you have to do it. Yeah, go ahead. Ask someone else to do it for you. But not because you can't do it. But because maybe you distribute now the type of work. Okay, so you need to know. What else do you need to know? Well, there are subjects like math, for example. Who wants math? Do you like math? I mean, basic math, everybody must know. But these endless equations, yeah, these kind of movies, when the genius comes out and pulls out these endless equations on the board, are you bored? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, for what is it good? Yeah, for physics, of course. For what are physics good? For many things, but building bridges, engineering, for example, weights. Okay, so that is a subject which I think should everybody should be introduced to it. Introduced to it. Just to, to know, here is this, and there is that, and this is here too. For when time is right and age has achieved, uh, that people, students might choose. Okay, I'm interested in this, I would like to know more. That's all. By choice. And there are so many other subjects. How about sewing? How are fabrics made? Do you know? How about fashion? That could be a subject of... I don't know, how to sew, I mean, to know how to sew and to be interesting in sewing. In sewing, but not just to amend some pants, to create something. Is that too advanced for a student? 
Yeah, electives. Who is interested? Do that. I mean, the reels are for more subjects, which I may not keep in my mind at this point. But get the notion, get the point. What does make sense? What does not make sense? When you see the light of the day and you see the video where there is some person who looks like Adriano <laughs> or Flappy, Flappy, and he says, well, one day I decided to do this. And a few years later, he looks like Adonis, <laughs> like those handsome guy with his body and how do you call them, the abs and all that muscles. And the, what happened? Well, someone made a choice, and that is my point. Every day, included a few hours into his life, they getting fit. Getting fit this time in his body. School is every day including a few hours to get fit and fit in your mind i mean say fit for acknowledging things fit for learning get your brain cells going meaning learn how to think learn how to strategize learn how to plan learn how to and the more you grow your older kids get the more they can absorb so in adulthood You're like a pretty independent and free person who can make very, very informed choices. I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak, I lose all control, something takes over.